Hello. Uh, this book here is called Hungry Monsters, and it's written by Matt Mitter and illustrated by Joe Brown. Um, this book would be categorized as a toy book because there are certain parts of the book that pop up. So you can see here, each page has a different monster with pop-ups. The pages and the outside of the book, as you can see, are also very durable cardboard. So it'd be hard to, hard to destroy it. Not impossible, but difficult. I would probably categorize this book as being appropriate for babies or very, very young children on up through elementary school, upper elementary school age. The reason I say that is there's funny parts in the book. This first page, for instance, a big hungry monster is under my bed. What a pest. He wants something to eat. His tummy is growling so loud I can't sleep. And he's nibbling my blanket and sheet. But what sort of snack did he find under there? Just a pair of old socks and my red underwear. Like I said, if you've ever read to older school age kids, even fourth and fifth grade, they think things like that are hysterical. <laughs> goes on just to show different different monsters as I said before the book is filled with the silly flaps and rhyming words throughout the book is also being told from a child's point of view so in first person which I thought was kind of cool also the other characters in the book besides the um, person telling the story the child are different monsters and each monster is accused of doing horrible things throughout the house, such as tearing up the attic or getting into the refrigerator because it's hungry. And I believe that this book would be really great for language development as it has the rhyming words throughout. It just flows really nicely. It would also be good for cognitive development as well. Uh, the child in the book is reasoning and drawing conclusions when uh, he or she talks about the monster. For instance, on this last page where it talks about um, one last hungry monster has clomped to the kitchen. At least there she'll find some real food, but you wouldn't believe what she gobbled up fast when she relished and slobbered and chewed. Another part talks about how this monster must have been starving. This big hairy fella, he ate 20 books and a torn blue umbrella. So we might be able to um, see how their reasoning and drawing conclusions must have been hungry because he ate so much. Also, um, maybe stretching it a little bit to find some personality development in here when the child talks about being a little relieved that the monster will at least find some yum yummy food in the fridge. Uh, maybe some empathy going on there. So that might be stretching it, as I said, but trying to find every little every little bit. Um, this is a very cute book, and it also talks about colors. There's a color on each page that's in bold. So a little bit of learning about colors there, too. So really great book.